let's talk about the 49ers assistant coaches. Mm -hmm. So the question I asked George Kittle, and I've been asking Jimmy Garoppolo too, is this is a group on offense that's been together for years. They know the system. They're vets. They've had success. How can you all of a sudden forget how to score points? Well, there is one thing that's different about this offense that's changed. The assistant coaches, let's not forget that the Niners pretty much have an entirely new assistant coaching staff on offense, minus a couple of guys. Um, Bobby Turner was gone, just came back, out of, I don't know, out of desperation. Uh, the offensive line coach is the same. Mike McDaniel's gone. Wes Welker's gone. Uh, the tight end coach, uh, Embry, gone. Um, quarterback coach, Scangarello, four guys. And so I'm not saying they were the greatest coaches of all time, but now there's new guys, Leonard Hankerson, Brian Greasy. Um, is it possible that this is the variable that has changed that is partially responsible? I mean, these guys game plan. And so far their game plans and adjustments have been horrendous. Uh, well, it's been pretty bad as far as that's in regard. But I mean, Kyle Shanahan's without McDaniel, who's been with him for what, 18 years? Mm -hmm. That was a big crutch for, for Kyle Shanahan. And you've heard that from Staley and everything. And this, 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 uh, this offense is uh, even the run game is very vanilla. Like it's very predictable. I'm when I'm at home watching on TV, I can I tell my kids before each play, okay, he's going to run the left, he's going to run the Pretty right. Much. I can see it from at home, uh, and, you know. And I watch every single 49ers game, so maybe that's why. But you're telling me that the NFL teams they're not they don't know that either. It, it he's and you know talk about your point with Trent Williams is telegraphing, but the run game is being telegraphed almost every single time. If you watch when the running backs on the right side of Jimmy. They run to the left. When, hmm. when the running backs on the left side of Jimmy, they run to the right. You can call it. It's plain and simple. So a lot of that is the assistant coaches, I'm assuming. But Kyle Shanahan's got to take charge uh, and fix that as well. Let me let me point out something that Jimmy Garoppolo said last night. I don't know if you caught this. No one said that. No one mentioned it. And I wanted to follow up, but they get Jimmy Garoppolo off the stage in less than four minutes. Have you noticed that? Yep. Less than four minutes, he's out. And it's like, dude, that's the starting quarterback. You just let. George Kittle, just badmouth the coach for 10 minutes. Can we get the quarterback for four, please? Anyway, um, so this is what Jimmy Garoppolo said. Let me get the transcript up. I'll read it. Someone said, do you see any differences or similarities with this 3-4 start uh, versus last year? And do you take any solace in the fact with how you finished that season? You see a lot of um, journalists trying to give the Niners that out. Like, hey, you lost today, but you're still confident, right? Say you're still give Give the fans something to be hopeful about. And this question was asked a lot. Every Niner fan pretty much had the same answer. Here's what Jimmy said. It's hard to compare. Just a different team, different players, a lot of different coaches too. And then he went on to say other stuff. But he said that a lot of different coaches too. And I'm like, oh, yeah, there are a lot of different coaches. And I don't know whether or not that has an impact. But if the players think it does, then it does. If he's mentioning it, then it's in their mind. And so why are – they don't sound super confident that they're just going to be like, oh, yeah, you know, we always start off three and five. It's sort of how we do things around here, and then we go on a run. Like, nah, that's not the game plan. And it was probably pretty impo improbable that they pulled it off last year. And it seems like this team has its doubts that they can do it again. Well, I mean, they should. I mean, it's a rare thing where you start three and five and then go on and, and go all the way to the NFC championship yeah. game. So. Yeah. The odds of them doing that two years in a row are even less. Uh, not something I'm confident is going to happen. I, I, I don't know, man. I don't have a lot of faith in this team right now based on what I'm seeing. Um, so we'll see. If they get to the playoffs, that's great. But uh, what are they going to do when they get there? I don't think they're going to do much. Jimmy Garoppolo is going to transform into Super Jimmy. <laughs> All of a sudden. In order, to do, in order to win the Super Bowl, and I'm sorry, guys, to be down, but, but in order to win the Super Bowl – Jimmy Garoppolo is going to have to do amazing or just be a B plus a B quarterback, not turn the ball over and overcome any turnovers he makes for four or five games straight. Do you think that's going to happen? I just know. I don't. Ezio Sanchez says, I'm starting to think Peter's principle applies to Kyle Shanahan. Is that a guy who gets uh, promoted beyond his expertise just because he's good at one thing? He gets promoted to a job he's not. Good at pretty much great coordinator. So we're told we can just CEO the team and not someone calling plays and a guy who can evaluate the quarterback position and, and uh, develop it. Harbaugh did those things. Should Kyle give up play calling like Andy Reid? Did, uh, did we already get that? Yeah. I mean, do something. He's definitely overwhelmed, but I don't know who's going to call plays. Bobby Slowick. 
Callie Tremor says, DB should post on uh, Facebook. I got my Jimmy INT2. Who hasn't picked Jimmy? Horrible performances all the way around. He's he's uh, generous that way. He threw a five-yard Hail Mary yesterday, got picked off. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> if Jim Harbaugh is the coach, which players go? I don't know, the ones that are, that don't want whatever he wants to do. What's cool about him is he would bring back Fangio, I bet. He would bring back some interesting people. Well, be interesting. Mike well, Solari. To have success in this league, you have to be strong on the offensive line and the defensive line. And our offensive line is not strong. And so if you want any long-term success, I mean, besides the quarterback position, those are the two, in my opinion, the two most important position groups. And we haven't focused on it at all. I wanted to bring this up when we were talking about are the Niners bad. So the Niners are bad in the trenches on offense. What do they do? Add another weapon. You know why? Because if Kyle Shanahan traded for an offensive tackle, no one would be calling him a genius all week on NFL Network. Emmanuel Acho wouldn't make an obnoxious two-minute and 20-second video about how Kyle Shanahan's a genius and the Niners are unstoppable because they beefed up their trenches, which is what they needed to do. Instead, he got a weapon, a dual-threat running back who can line up in the slot. And, oh, my God! He's lining up in the slot so he can run a screen. Wow! He, another weapon on a team full of weapons, and people called him a genius for it. And that's what he wants. He'd rather be called a genius by the media than do what's right because he's loyal to his ego over his team. Sorry. He already had a bunch of weapons that he didn't utilize. So now he just has another weapon that he's not going to be able to utilize fully. Yeah. He he already is, he hasn't shown that he can get the most out of the talent he had already. Now he has more talent he can underuse. Amtod99 says, for fantasy purposes, I had to watch Matty Ice look so similar to Jimmy G. Anyways, we were in the huddle, down 20. Jimmy looks his best when he freestyles in two-minute drills. So do that when you're down. Yeah, man. I mean, Kyle, yeah, yeah. They, they were huddling until five minutes left in the game. Dalton Yancey, sorry for blowing up the Lamar thing. Didn't know how this chat worked. Thought my comment was skipped. Sorry. No, it just takes a little while to get through them all. All pros at every position on, per, on offense except one. Tight end, running back, O-line, wide receiver. What's the problem? Well, having one good offensive lineman out of five isn't great. Um, Especially when he's know. not healthy all the time. Yeah, or playing well. Yeah. He's not had a good year. We, we should have let Kyle draft Mac 10 like he wanted. No. Bailey Zappi's better than him. Uh, what's the difference between Mac Jones and Jimmy Garoppolo, really? Like, what's the difference? Like I seven mean, years. Seven years. That? Nobody wants Mac Jones. I don't. No, I don't. Maxime says, on the plus side, at least we didn't blow a 10-point lead in the fourth quarter this time. No, they blew a 10-point lead in the first quarter. The Niners had 10 points in the first eight minutes and then scored 13 points in the next 52 minutes. That is a bad trend. Yeah, it's almost Keith like number 10 is unlucky. <laughs> it's true. Keith Murphy says defense hasn't looked close to the same since the loss of E-Man. Is his loss being understated? Yes. Yes. Also, we don't know what this defense was going to look like with E-Man against a good offense. They were not tested. They were beating their chest because they shut down Trey Lance in training camp and a bunch of bad offenses in September and October. We don't know what this defense was going to do, although E-Man was looking really good. They played bad offenses all year until until yesterday. Including the Niners offense. Bad offense. Yeah. Clayton Raber says, Kyler, at Seattle, Bolts, McDaniel, Revenge, our Super Bowl will be versus the Raiders. Very real we go 5-5. Five and five. Fair. Which would make the Niners 8-9. and nine? Scary. Kyle better not go 8-9 and nine, is what I'm saying. James Moore says, do you think Kyle wanted Trey Lance? I felt that upper management went above his head. You don't run quarterback powers like that. No other team does that. Let him throw the ball and develop. Yeah, it makes you wonder. It makes you wonder if Kyle got overruled and instead of making us think about it, he's just like, okay, whatever, because he wants to stay employed and doesn't want to do what, what doesn't want to get axed the way Harbaugh did, but, you know, did this instead. Okay, so I have to, this is my court. Okay, here's how I'm going to use him, Jed. Sorry, I, I'm a genius. It's the right thing to do. If I had to guess, I'm, I would guess that he wanted him, but I don't know. I hope. I'd yeah. like to think that because it's bleak if he didn't. Yeah. Um, Gold-Blooded says, speculate. When does Jed wake up and realize these 70s-style big defense run game schemes coaches don't work anymore? Every time he hires a coach, it's a guy who's going to get the run game going like, can we get someone who passes, please? Yeah. Jed, I know you're from Youngstown and you like establishing the run because you're a Bears fan. I don't know what he, what he was growing up, but like, can we get some West Coast football, please? It's, it's warm out here. You can throw. It's just frustrating that we expect the defense to win every game. It's it, You can't expect that to happen. That's not how the NFL is built. You cannot expect your defense to win every game for you and put up 18, 20 points and win. It doesn't work. I mean, even in the regular season, you can't expect that. And you can't definitely can't expect it in the postseason or to win a Super Bowl like that. It's not happening. 
Kakai Contrada says, keep Bosa trade juice. We have CMC now. No one wants juice. He's 32, 31. Fullback? You're not going to get much for juice. He's worth more to this team than he is to other teams. Yeah. Write an article about teams doing more with less. Quickly. Which teams are doing more with less? Seattle? The Giants? The Giants, Seattle. Uh, a lot of them. Like, shoot, Philly's probably doing more with less than – well, the quarterback's doing pretty good. Uh, I'd have to think those about two, Those two pop into your mind right away. Yeah. Um, James Wilson, Trey, heartbreak. Sorry. Yeah. Um, Anthony, does McDaniel coach up his players better? Look what he's done with Tua. Again, yeah. he he's he's positive. He built up Tua. Everyone said Tua sucked. And McDaniel's like, nah, he's the most accurate quarterback in the league. And he just sort of spoke it into existence. That's what coaches do. It's what Pete Carroll's doing for Geno Smith. Kyle can't do it. The 49ers offense has been so vanilla all year long. And you know what? You can uh, – Balding, Baldinger has used – I watch Baldinger. I really like him. He's used the, the the word vanilla or beige to describe Kyle Shanahan's offense three times already this year. Not good. 808 Niners says Jimmy can't throw more than five yards accurately. He's a professional athlete and he doesn't get better. He can't even be bothered to step into his throws. You give Jimmy freedom, he's going to throw five picks. Fair. I'm not I'm not here to choose sides between the Kyle Shanahan and the Jimmy Garoppolo camps. In fact, I think it's kind of funny how the, those camps constantly point at each other. Like you guys are just as bad as each other. I it's both, it's both of you. Yeah. Own it. It's like you remember remember that um Dr. Seuss book, the uh the star belly sneeches? There were like the, there was like the sneeches that had stars in their bellies and ones that didn't, and like yeah. one's hella condescended to the others. Like you guys are exactly the same. Yeah. Exactly the same. That's yeah. Jimmy and uh, Kyle. Jimmy and Kyle are the, both the, the main reasons why this offense isn't good. Yeah. Sacramento Mike says, where uh, were the defensive adjustments? No disguise coverages, no blitz, the same coverage all day. It was driving me crazy. Solid blitz packages I do miss. Sala was good at that. Yep. Sala was good at that. Sala's a good coach. Yep. Five and two. I like D'Amico. But he had a bad day for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's not going to get hired as a head coach anytime soon if he keeps doing stuff like that. Like, that was the worst defensive performance I've seen in a very, very long time. And there are way too many good players on the defense. I don't care if they were un- less than 100%. They were on the field. Yeah. Emiliano, thank you. Um, We got a couple more topics. I'll take a couple more questions before we get back to them. Frank and Beans, Jimmy played fine, one bad mistake. But even if he played perfectly, they weren't winning with that D. Can't get off the field on third and long, just like 19 Super Bowl. Wait a minute. What, he didn't, didn't play he fine. The ball? Didn't he also get a safety? He didn't play fine. Don't do that. We're not playing that game. We're not p- putting blame on people other than the quarterback and the head coach. Everyone gets blame. Don't protect one guy at all costs. Jay Bell says, I don't get the propping up of JH at the end of the day. If Kyle Shannon gets in the NFC Championship game, they both have the same resume. They both let a Super Bowl slip away. Only difference is JH had a team in place already. And he had you know, quarterbacks that he developed and he had constant success and all that. But yeah, he's true. He didn't win a Super Bowl. Question Maybe he would have. Question on that one. Uh, the guys that said the reason why Jim Harbaugh was successful is because he had a stacked roster. Doesn't Kyle Shanahan have a stacked roster right now? Yeah. Yes. So what is he doing with it? Nothing. Nothing. Irfan, Trey got absolutely killed after a monsoon in Chicago, yet Jimmy gets every excuse in the book whenever he loses. Yes. Because of his smile. Trey has a nice smile, though. Frank and Beans, should we be easier? Should be easier to win the West this year. No one running away with it. Got to win next week. Keep getting healthier. Hope that they put it together. The Rams always show up at the right time. The Rams might be the worst team in the NFC West. I'm just saying. We'll see. Jonathan Chavez says, I feel like Kyle's making it too difficult for players to execute his plays. Same like in Green Bay. He thinks he's a genius, but he's not. Simplify it. Kyle's ego is far up there. He won't change. Ken Dorsey. I don't know. Would you say beige, vanilla? I don't, I don't know this. To me, what the issue is, is that his motion isn't working anymore. He had like a cheat code. Oh, if I, you know, if I motion every single play, I will get busted coverages and big plays. Well, teams aren't reacting the same way to your motion anymore. What do you got now? Do you have a legit offense or did you just have this one trick? Well, I mean, he was known for his creativity on offense. And... Mm. Like the you see, you see that in Miami now. You don't, but yep. you don't see it here. So that's yep. it's an obvious difference for me. Yep. Eight oh eight nine says, did Mostert want to leave or did they lowball him because he looks good instead of CMC? We could have got a lineman or a corner. Yeah, I think the Niners. I think the the Miami Dolphins were going to pay him more um, because the Niners yeah. wanted Christian McCaffrey. 
And there's also ta the tax structure in Miami is different. And I, from what I've heard, Mostert was really close with McDaniels. Mm. Justin Rodriguez says this team can't seriously believe they can make a Super Bowl. They can't play well-disciplined football consistently from week to week. Shake my head. Yeah, but they're talented, though. They have so much potential for an old team that's been together for a long time. If only they could put it together and get on the same page after six years. Andrea, I like Lynch, but what about getting rid of him and Kyle and just starting from scratch all together? Look how the Giants are doing after bringing in Sean and Dayball or promote from within, a.k.a. Peters. Yeah, that's uh, probably the best thing. I don't know. I, I, it's just hard to say what Lynch does, and I like him personally, so I don't know. I like I want him Lynch. On, on yeah. I, I think he's a great guy, but uh, I'm not opposed to it either. You know, you got to do what's right for the team, yeah. Yep. I don't know. I guess it would depend on what Lynch – you have to talk to Jed and say, all right, well, I'm not necessarily sure I want to fire you, Lynch, but who can you bring in as the coach? And if you can't bring in the best coach, I'm going to have to get someone who can't. So I, I don't know. Maybe Lynch could do it. He seems, he's pretty connected. And I think if you ask most coaches if they wanted to work with Lynch, they'd probably say yes. I think they'd probably say yes. Yep. The Gold Rush 561 says, isn't it time to start getting rid of 2019 roster players like Armstead, McGlinchey, Kittle, Juice, Jimmy G, Ward, save money, get picks? Yeah, but I mean, you'd have to look at the contracts. They've extended these guys so many times that um, some of them have dead money. Some of them don't have much uh, value. Like, you can't trade McGlinchey. He's, he, he's a lame duck right tackle that no one wants. I think they're just not going to sign him next year, I would hope. But yeah. that's the thing is I, I, we got to do – at some point we got to do a show later on this season, maybe after this season. There are so many guys that are going to be gone next year, uh, particularly on the defense. And so that's going to require money. And that means somebody's going to have to go. They're going to have to make hard decisions. And it could be IU, could be – I don't know. But – Guys aren't coming back that you think. It's true. Matthew Sanders says this team would be better served if they were low profile a la Steelers or Bills. Jed won't let it happen. Let's go Santa Clara venture capitalists. Yeah, at any time the Niners do anything, Jed wants the whole media world to praise them. He's very good at getting the media to praise the 49ers and say that the Niners are going to win the Super Bowl, but they don't. Yep. Chris Tech uh, says JL needs to be president, less Jed, Peter's new GM, new head coach. It's hard to say how to restructure the front office considering none of us know what anyone does. Jed has to figure that out. But I see what you're saying. Did Kyle Shanahan trade away picks to keep other coaches away? I mean, that's it went through my head. I was thinking. It was a nice little uh, byproduct of the move. Frank and Bean says, D looked like they hadn't ever seen a good quarterback yesterday. Doesn't that tell us something about Trey and how shutting him down meant nothing? Sure. I guess, Frank and Beans. I've, I don't think you guys have ever seen Patrick Mahomes play football in person. He's the best player I've ever seen. He's yeah. so much better than Andy, uh, than uh, Aaron Rodgers. Sorry. Yeah, a, lot of people, a lot of people tell you that. He's like the Steph Curry of the NFL. Oh, my God. Glass at full guy says, what the heck was Jimmy G uh, interception in the red zone? That's why I'm out on Jimmy. Oh, it was a rookie mistake. Just give him 10 more years. He'll figure it out. <laughs> Vernon, hey, thank how you. How many times has Jimmy Garoppolo thrown the ball away this year? He doesn't do that. I can't remember. Maybe a He's couple. Dead. Maybe a couple. No. Daryl Jamison says, it seems like Mike McDaniel brought those crucial adjustments to the offense that we aren't seeing this year. Kyle gives us 10 per decent plays in the first quarter, and then the offense tanks and gets figured out every week. Jed must feel so. You got Mike McDaniel flourishing in Miami. He was here. You got Robert Sala flourishing in New York. He was here. And you got Kyle Shanahan falling on his face. Wow, he must. Be, I would be mad. I would be mad, and I would feel feel kind of taken, uh, duped. Well, I, I think Kyle Shanahan is going to get another year after this, but I, if he doesn't make the playoffs, I would hope he would be gone, but I don't think yeah. that's going to happen. Yeah. Damon Rice says, all I know is I felt better when Harbaugh was the coach as opposed to Shanahan. I felt confident every game played despite the eventual outcome. Yeah, you knew they were going to be prepared except for that one Super Bowl. They were not prepared for that. Mm -hmm. I was going to